Hi people! So today I'm going to show you my version of that little French breed part thingy that people do. Part thingy. I don't know. That little French braid people do down the sides of their head because I can't do it and if you're like me and you don't know how to do it either but you think it's really cute, you can try doing my little thing. My little thing. You can try doing my version and you will have much better luck, I guarantee it. Okay, you're going to want to start with oops, straight hair. Right? You know what? You could do this with curly hair too. Duh, it's really cute. Brush it out. If it's straight, make sure there's no knots so it looks pretty. Then what you're going to want to do is grab, is put your hair down the side, grab a little baby piece, just like this little guy, and start to twist him just a little bit. And once you've twisted him a little, I love that I'm saying like twist him like he's like a person. Twist the hair a little bit, then grab more hair next to it. There's no right way to do this. It's just picking up hair. I promise you it's not difficult. Twist that some more. Grab another little hair next to it. The only technique I could say maybe you could try is as you're picking up the hairs, pick up ones under the piece and then over the piece, under, over, whatever. But it really doesn't matter. Don't stress about it. So just Twist that and pick up hairs. It's super simple. Just pick up hair and add it into the twist. So once you've done that enough that it's just like on the side of your head, like connected to your head a little, you can just twist the piece that's in your hand and finish it off. So now you're done. Just kidding. Okay. So once you've twisted that, just pull it back on into your hair whatever I don't know I'm make, making it sound more complicated just you know pull it back and put a little clip in your hair to hold it and I cannot use bobby pins because my daggers didn't come with a manual saying that I wouldn't be able to open them and use them but it doesn't matter because you're gonna cover it up with your little hair flower. So once you've done that, it's going to look like this. It's just twisted hair, whatever. It's not the most amazing thing you've ever seen, but it's cute. And you could also tease your hair just so it's a little bit bigger before you do this. So then the part that makes it extra adorable is we're going to add some hair flare, this little flower. And you don't want to put it too far back or too far forward because you don't want to look like a three-year-old and have this flower just like sitting there on your head. You want it right on the side, a little bit above where you put your clips. So just put it like right here and clip it in or bobby pin it in, whatever. And you have a cute little flower in your hair and it's not just randomly sitting there, it's like right near your twist. So people will tell you that your hair looks cute, hopefully, if you've done it correct, but there's no real way to like fuck it up. I mean, it's pretty easy. Not the worst thing you'll ever do in your life, and it takes like a minute. So, hope you loved it. See ya.